Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fall Damage. Um, it's been a while again, and first of all, hello to all you new subscribers. Um, it's 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 lovely to see you all at the end of the day. That's that's what I've got to say. Thank you all for subscribing, um, and I hope I can pleasure your earbuds. Um, so, you may or may not know, you just caught a glimpse of it there, you may or may not know that I um, may or may not have participated in the possible murder of a B double A, um, and I, in my defence, um, in my defence, which is a bit late now, I would like to say I did not actually kill B double A at all. I may have died a few sheep and may have bred a couple of them um, but I didn't kill any of them and um, neither did BAA actually because BAA was a yellow sheep and it's, from what I can remember BAA killed a red sheep. So Good is the murderer and I'm the innocent party. But even so, I get this. And even when I said I would build a court and a jail in town and give myself a fair trial, I still get this. Admittedly, I did ask for netherrack, and I have been supplied with the netherrack. This, most of this stuff is already placed by me. In fact, all of it was, apart from, like, uh, where was some of it? I'll change my fog up a little bit for a bit, I shouldn't lag straight away. Like that nether act wasn't placed by me. All around the tops there. All the ones in the circles wasn't placed by me. Um, the rest was what the nether act is for is to mark the floor of the next level. Because I'm gonna work on the internal design and such of the bottom floor. Because that's mostly done now. Um, or mostly done, it's done in parts anyway. Um, and then the roof was just so I wouldn't get attacked by the sky and such. Um, but, yeah, this has happened. It's, it's, it's okay. I mean, I've got the nether at placed in certain parts. I was going to place it along there. I wasn't going to place it there, but, you know, you can't be picky with this kind of stuff. Um, and it's also lit as well. So the mobs aren't going to spawn, maybe here, but I can get some torches down, but, you know, it is, it was, it's beneficial, it's not really a prank at the end of the day, and as far as I'm aware, none of my animals were killed either, and we all know what good is like for killing animals. Just have a little bit of a nap next to the fire, um, and apologies if there's any sound problems, I'm using a new mic, I did test it, um, it seemed okay. It seemed better. Um, it's a standalone mic instead of one that's actually attached to me, because um, you could always hear like my shirt and start rubbing against it, um, and sometimes my naked chest. But we won't go into too much detail. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear all this up at the end of the day, or most of it, at least the fire. It is hot. I have stepped in it a couple of times. Um, and it, it's definitely hot fire. It's not this cold fire. Luckily, it didn't burn this because I would be mad, and I would kill every sheep in a thousand mile radius of his, of his house if he did. But he did burn Portal Tree, which is unacceptable. Honestly, it's it's very unacceptable. I should show you the sign as well that I found. I logged on and I was up where we just were, where all that netherrack is that's not burning, um, which is like the only bit that isn't burning. Um, and I thought that a fi a lightning had struck because <laughs> I saw I saw basically a line of fire. My fog was on tiny, and I saw basically a line of fire. I was like, okay, well, sometimes fire cannot be put up by the rain in multiplayer. And maybe it all just hit in a big line. Um, 
And then I walked around and I saw more fire, and eventually, after about 1,000 flames, I thought, probably was manufactured. Um, but yeah, I brought the netherrack over for you. Not good. Mm, yeah, you sure did. Um, and a torch as well, which might be one of mine that was just like chilling here. <sighs> Man. There's a lot of fire, which I will deal with later. I've been placing netherrack even so I was doing some idle stuff earlier so I was watching some watching watching I was placing some netherrack um, and I've placed all these torches as well so I again I don't get attacked by mobs um, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour um, a lot of you have seen the tour with Gude, um but a lot has changed since then like this this has all changed. Um, so I'm going to redo a tour. Or um, update a tour, I suppose. Um, so, let's start with what you have seen. We won't go through it all. Um, you've seen all this. You know, the entrance hall over here. The bathrooms over here. The stone statues there, which are a little crap. But I don't know how to fix them. Your suggestions as well, um, with the doors, putting a uh, nether brick fence, I have done that, it's not amazing, I may do two, just these two, um, on both sides, I may do gold blocks with them, again I may darken the wood, uh, I think that will look a lot better, somehow, magic I suppose. Um, but yeah, they can't really bend in this way. If they did bend in this way, then they would probably look better. Um, but the problem with that is that there's going to be tables here. And if the doors are in, then the tables are going to be not there anymore. Um, so this is that corridor that went around the courtyard. You've seen all that in Good's video. Um, you can't really go up there, so never mind. Um, that's the naked room, which you've also seen. Do do, um, and that's all the courtyard down there, which you've already seen. So, stuff you have not seen is around this way, which would be a lot easier to get to when I have all my doorways set up. Um, oh, just, there's just fire everywhere. I'm surprised it's not lagging me. It's, it's not lagging at all. Which is which is strange, um, but this is the storage room here. This is going to be a storage room um, where I'm going to store everything. It's not really fitting with the castle or the school castle thing, but it's Minecraft and you have to have a storage area really. Um, there are going to be stuff stored in like say the potions classes. They're going to have like potions stored in them. Uh, but this is going to be the central storage. Uh, the reason being is because it's right near the entrance. It's going to be near the portal when I've got that set up. Because um, that's not its final location. But yeah, this is going to be the storage room. Um, this room, which is not get inable at the moment, is going to be um, some bathrooms. Um, it's a big room, so I'm going to shorten it down or make it smaller. Smaller it down. Tinyify it. Tinyify it. There we go. That's that'll do. Um, there's probably going to be a corridor around here-ish, um, which will go right through to the other side, which is around this way. There's going to be another door here, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, but yeah, the corridor will come out around here somewhere, like right here. Um, the door that I was just just mentioned that will be here. Um, will lead into a, a sort of deck area. Uh, not, it's not really a deck. Basically, that river there is gonna turn into a canyon. Uh, essentially, there's gonna be a, um, an outdoor paved area which will go around there and curve back around and meet up with the castle again over there. Um, and then there'll be a bridge coming off of that and a tower over there um, and such. 
um, like a like a patio, I suppose. Um, down here, this has all been built up now. There's going to be windows along here to break up the stone. Um, I'm thinking about putting a couple of statues in here and here, like right, right around the other side of this this bit um, eventually, but not yet because it's a bit of a small space. So I'll have to see what I can do. Uh, this here is going to be a library. It's going to be a two-story library. Um, there is probably going to be another corridor uh, about here, which will go right through to the other side, um, just to make moving around a lot easier. Because at the moment you have to go right around the whole tower, bathroom, library complex, um, which is a bit of pain. Um, yeah, this is going to be a library. There'll be a staircase around there, which will curve up into the the next floor of the library. It'll be like a a balcony area and some more books and such. Much like you find in libraries. Uh, this corridor leads to the outside here. It's going to be a big courtyard um, or a big grass area, not really a courtyard. Um, these behind this wall is going to be study rooms and then again on the next floor as well there'll be about three study rooms on each floor. Um, they're near the library so you grab some books and you go into a private study room or you can just grab some lube and do other things in the private study room um, and then you've got all these all this courtyard which goes around here. The nether brick here was placed by me um, just because I haven't lit the area over here and it's just stopped mobs jumping over whenever I'm working on it apart from spiders obviously because spiders are a pain. You burnt this tree as well which is a pain burning all my trees. Um, then there's this little assembly here and this. I'll talk about this first as we're here. This is going to be a clock tower which is going to go right up to the sky limit and using the new lamp blocks probably which I'm very glad have been added um, it's going to have um, a light sensor which um, comes from Etho um, and that will turn on some lamp blocks in some form of patterns uh, depending whether it's day or night. Um, it may have pistons involved, it may have other things involved. Depends how the lamp blocks look all the way up there really. Uh, they're going to be about 20 or so blocks away from Sky Limit, probably more than that, less than that, like 15 or so blocks. Um, at the moment it just goes all the way up here. Uh, this ladder will be gone, this is just for construction purposes. And it's going to be in an open tower. There's going to be corridors and such leading off of it. So say, there's going to be another spiral staircase in the middle probably. And then there'll be corridors, say, leading up to there on various floors. Uh, none leading up to here for obvious reasons. There might be a balcony around on the inside of it. Um, the inside lip or edge or whatever. Um, so there could be corridors leading from there, you never know. Only time will tell. That will allow me to add windows and such. Um, I need to have another little nap in a second. But yeah, this is going to be a clock tower. Um, I'm going to make it look like it's got clogs and and various clocky things. I just knocked my microphone, you probably all heard that. Um, but yeah, it will have like a clock and various clock related items. A clock and various clock related items. Clock and clogs. Clogs and, and whatnot. No, I dropped my bed. God damn it. Uh, so now we'll go back down here. I'll tell you about that little assembly there when we get around. Um, I think you go to bed too. Got some melons. I wish you could make the melons into melon blocks and then eat the melon blocks. Just eat a whole melon. But alas, you can't. Um, some commenters were saying I look like Harry Potter. Uh, not look like Harry Potter, you haven't seen me. That I sound like Harry Potter as well. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, I have a feeling they weren't British commentators. Commentators? Uh, 
my words are all wrong today, that they weren't British commenters. They were people who cannot distinguish between a, a Gloucestershire accent and wherever Harry Potter's from, like London, possibly? I think he's from the East, I don't know. Um, this is going to be a bridge, which will go over here and then connect over to there, um, which will act as another corridor. It'll be like a an openish bridge, It'll have a, a wooden roof and um, fence posts, kind of like these ones, but without the, the brick as well, um, which will then allow you to view and see stuff. Um, the courtyard is going to go with the natural field. These are all the natural trees, including this one, which I've replanted a couple of times. Um, but these are all the natural trees, and these are where the trees are going to be. Um, possibly apart from the close ones like that, all the other trees, they are going to be the natural trees. Um, and that's essentially it for the tour. There is the other area. I have completed the farm area as well, which you never saw in, in the other tour. So, let's go look at that. I thought that was a creeper. Long glass. Long glass. Long grass. Um, talking of people, fictional characters I'm most like, um, I'm actually most like Amy Pond because I have breasts. It's because um, she comes from a town in. This is really showing my Doctor Who fanism, excessive fanism. Um, she comes from a town that's like half or a village, like half an hour away from Gloucester, which is where my town slash village is. So I am more like Amy Pond than Harry Potter. Um, this is the. This will be a corridor which goes around the farm area. Uh, this will all obviously exist. Um, and this will be, yeah, this is the wall that's the um, study rooms, so then these will come back to this room as well. Um, and then the wall will go around here and such. The only the inside wall is completed at the moment. Uh, but that goes all the way around. Blah, 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 blah. You know how walls work. Um, and I flattened it all out as well, which took days. That's why there haven't been any videos um, because it's just been monotonous flattening and, and filling and, and digging and placing netherrack and just general grinding really. Um, so this goes around here. This is going to be a classroom here if I remember correctly. And I think I do. Um, same with this, this is going to be another bit of a classroom. Um, and then this massive circle, which you can't really get a sense of because of all this in the way. Uh, this circle is going to be the um, tower for the um, garden students uh, common room. Uh, so that's going to go all the way up and it's going to look natural, it's going to be made of logs, leaves, uh, dirt. And that's why I've kept the river here and the natural structure of the cliff apart from that little bit. Which I may just flatten out all the way along here and then there'll be a balcony which kind of overlooks the river. Uh, and then the river is going to flow around and actually flow into the valley as well. Not the valley, the, the canyon thing. Uh, this here, there's a couple of them around here, is going to be a tower. Well, not really a tower, it's going to be a circular room which may go uh, slightly higher than the wall around it. Uh, the wall is going to be a flat top so you can walk along the top of the wall as well. Um, and then there's going to be doors here on, so the walls come, the corridor wall thing has come around. Uh, you can walk inside the wall as well, I should mention. It's all in my head and I forget to mention certain things because um, you guys cannot read my mind which would make commentating a lot easier probably a lot more dangerous anyway um, the you know, we have a, a door here uh, which will come around this isn't completely flattened yet because I ran out of dirt um, you'll have a door here which will come around and you can have a door here which will go out towards the gaming area like the Quidditch pitch or just the arena there's probably not going to be a Quidditch pitch um, 
and then there'll be another door here which will go through the corridor and then another door over there which will go through the corridor um, and that'll be made of, of stone like all the rest of this wall actually um, and then the wall comes around it's just this massive farm area I wish you could zoom the map in more. I may make a make my own map and include it in a video sometime, um, so you can just see the scale of it at the moment. Um, That's another tower, which will have corridor uh, door for the corridor, door for the corridor, and door for the uh, gardens or the farming, whatever. Uh, but no door up there because that's just going to be barren wasteland, or it's just not going to be part of the castle, I suppose. Um, Oh, sad. And then the wall comes around. I'm going to flatten the outside of it as well. Like, there has to be the, other, the corridor in first, so I'll see what I can do. Um, I tried to keep it natural, but it didn't really work out that way. Um, then, again, corridor, f door for the corridor, door for the corridor, door for the gardens. Um, probably no door for out there, unless I decide to do something with it. I'm uh, not entirely sure yet. There could be like a, a dock or something, I suppose, because it goes towards the ocean, I think. Um, let's actually check that. Uh, that's not really the ocean, is it? Do I have any blocks? I have no back. Um, I don't want to waste my unbroken pick. And then, you know, is the only diamond pick I have left? Not that I'm running short of diamonds. Even after I gave Good 14 blocks of diamond, and he just gave me fire. How I'm grateful that he gave me another echo well, I suppose. Um, yeah, it doesn't really go out to the ocean, does it? After all that. I think that's this. This is quite cool. Mm, we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. Um, anyway. Now I've got to get back up there. Um, so, yeah, the wall keeps going round, around here. Do had a cow around here. I've also covered up all the caves, or most of the caves. There's some caves like here, which I may uh, put like a little room where you go down into the cave. Um, we'll see about that too. And then it comes around. That's the problem with planning out a build, is that you have always the random elements of caves or mountains and such that you want to incorporate, but you don't really know how at the time. Um, and then this is going to be a bathroom, and this is going to be a bathroom. This is going to be a staircase which goes up to the next floor, and then this is a staircase we came up at, and then there'll be a staircase here probably which goes down to the next floor, or down to the dungeon level. Um, and then that's essentially it for everything you haven't seen yet. Um, you've seen it all now. I have exposed myself to you completely, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm running out of food again. Or running out of hunger. Um, but apart from that, there's nothing else I really want to talk about or or, or tell you. Honestly, you've you've heard enough, and you should just leave. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, so I will leave it at that, and probably have to plot my revenge against Gude. I do feel bad for the guy that everybody's pranking him. Um, so maybe I won't get him back just yet. But I do have an excellent idea for a prank I want to do. So we might have to see about that one. Anyway, um, as always thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys' is patience while there's been the laps in videos, the continual laps in videos. Um, I do apologise. I wish I had more time to do more videos um, and I wish I had less monotonous work to do when I did get time to do the work um, and then some had something decent to actually record because it's all well and good doing a build video um, or doing a build series is what, what this is really. Um, but you guys don't want to see the thousands of blocks of dirt placed just to fill that area over there, do you? I mean, really. Actually, one last thing. One last thing before I go is what I've done here is the dungeon. 
um, at the start of it anyway. Um, it was anticlimactic in good anticlimactic in good's video, uh, so I will up that climax a little bit and increase your your viewing pleasure. Um, but then that is it for this video. Um, and as always, like I just said, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.